So when people think of gender, they usually think of he, she, he, penis, she, vagina, done. But what if I told you that, like most things in life, actually a little more complicated. Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. You were born, I assume, and when you came out, the doctor looked between your legs and they were like, oh my god. It's a boy! And in that moment, as soon as your parents knew what was between your legs, they grabbed their boy suitcase, packed with ideas of how you would then be raised because you had a penis. The suitcase had lots of blue, it had sports, trucks, action figures, it had short hair and abs, hairy legs, pants, and ties. But it also had toughness, dominance, courage, and leadership. And if indeed your truest self, the self before you came out, and were given a suitcase aligned with everything that was in there, then you would come up and live happily ever after as a strapping young lad. But what would have happened if all these things you had learned about what you were supposed to be felt wrong, like incomplete somehow? You might start to feel broken, like there was no room for who you really were in that stifling suitcase. And you might decide to look at the other suitcase. In the suitcase, you'd find soft curves and graceful movement. You'd find dresses and jewelry and makeup. You'd find perseverance, patience, and nurturing. You might think to yourself, holy crap, my parents grabbed the wrong suitcase and I've been paying the consequences for it my entire life. Why does this suitcase have a vulva on it? That is so dumb. This is my suitcase. Or you might think to yourself, wow, I identify with a lot of this stuff. And they also kind of identify with some of this stuff. Or maybe you don't really identify with either. A suitcase is gender. Gender is made up of behaviors, traits, performances, presentations that categorize people, but these categories embody aspects of people's intrinsic identities. The first scenario that I gave was a cisgender person. This means that their identity matches the gender that they were assigned at birth. The second and third scenarios that I gave were of genderqueer or transgender people because their gender that they were assigned at birth does not match their identity. Transgender, genderqueer, and other non-binary groups don't always fit into a two-gender framework. Let's bust some myths, shall we? While we strictly enforce only two gender suitcases, in reality, there's much more than that. Throughout time and history, our ideas about what gender is has changed. For instance, 40 years ago, it was acceptable for boys to wear dresses. Some parts of Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Polynesia have three or four genders, and in Indonesia, they have five. The reality is there are probably millions of gender possibilities, even though our society likes to store people into two very rigid boxes. It's really strange how we force people to use suitcases that aren't really theirs. While I may have been born with a vagina, that doesn't mean that I'll identify as a woman. It doesn't mean that I won't identify as a woman either. The reality is that my sex doesn't tell you anything about my gender. You can't just look at me and know what my gender identity is. People ignorantly believe that they have a right to tell you what your gender is because they believe the myth that gender is determined by how you look. When someone breaks out of their assigned gender too much, there is hell to pay. The reality is only you can know and feel what your gender is. Being in one body or another does not make you more or less of any gender. You don't have to change your body or your appearance in order to be your gender for other people. You already are your gender, regardless of what body you have. That said, some non-binaries do choose to modify their bodies because they want to or because they start to feel trapped in a body that doesn't feel like their own, probably in part because of the isolation, harsh judgment, and closed-minded world that we live in. So there's a lot more to be said about this topic, but I'm out of time for today, so we'll have to save it for another time. Have a nice week, everyone. Love you all. I will see you next Saturday. Subject mom.